Greetings, Grapple fans. It's your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush, here on Free Match Monday with an all-new podcast go go for you. At our home base, the Wrestle Factory, we hosted a wild eight-man Atomicos match that saw Amasis transform into Pharaoh Ant once more to lead a team of ants into action against the hexed men of Nas Maldun. And the hatred between these parties send things spiraling into terrifying territory. Oh, he's going right after yeah, He tried to get his hands on Freightmare, and look at this. Freightmare is just avoiding it. He's getting right out of the ring. Drop to the floor. Oh, why not? If you have people doing your dirty work for you, why not? That's an interesting tactic for a team captain. Soldier Ant's got Kodama in a headlock, and he's just leading him around the ring. Cobalt strikes against Fire Ant. He returns fire. How is the referee going to... I, I can barely call this. Yeah. All right, so now we've got Kodama in the ring with Soldier Ant. Right, you are picking him up and putting him down very, very rapidly. Ants go marching into a spinning elbow drop. He put that right in the center of the sternum. And nice Kodama is trying to get out of the ring here. Yeah, it's going to be wild. It's going to be chaotic, and we knew we were in for this. Finally taking up residence in one of the corners are the members of the Technico team. And this is the combination we want to see. Yeah. Team Captain Frightmare, no. Minute. No. Uh, oh, no. Wow, out of nowhere. Cobalt, the prince of all goblins, running interference for Team Captain Frightmare. And at least right now, the tactic seems to be Frightmare stays out of the ring and lets these three guys do the dirty work. Is they prince of all goblins? That's right. Do they vote? I, I know very little about that. Okay. Society. Cobalt's Can't be got any more control. surreal than our current election. Fair enough. Look at him up. Stump puller variant coming here with the figure fouring, putting pressure down on that kneecap. Now it doesn't work for good balance. No, he rocked back. Wow. Thought he wanted a prawn hold, but it's a submission. Maybe a little bit of both. No, look. Faroy is keeping his shoulders up off the mat. Yeah, Smartly absolutely. Done. But in doing so, you're crimping your own neck. Right. And he's using his own foot to push against the kneecap here in the hold. This is a smart Almost like a figure four, if you will. Mm -hmm. yeah. Works the same way. Cobalt punishing the legs of Faraway, and he is known for his high flying. He's got a great 450 splash, some wild flying kicks all the way around. Cabradora, the Mexican backbreaker, scoops him right back up. He's not done with him. What's this going to be? Oh, <laughs> man, one out of El Valiente's playbook. Went from the tombstone position into a code breaker like move, and now here comes the big blue bruiser. Worker Ant is about to punch in. Oh, I like that. Very good. All that body weight crushing him, clear in the distance, so the Pharaoh Ant can fly, and he does with a fabulous drop kick. He's got him picked right up. I'm trying up. to keep up with all of this. I don't know how you do. Years of training, I'm afraid. Down goes Cobalt. Wow. Hey, all right, well, Frightmare is in, uh, what a flurry. Yeah. All over Worker Ant. Boy, he is a savage, is Frightmare, taking it to Worker Ant. To point out that Frightmare has nothing to do with the fact that Worker Ant is barely able to defend himself. All the damage was done by Cobalt. Well, he's finally got a grip on Frightmare. Oh, and no sooner does he get a grip on him. Look at this. Kodama comes right in and runs interference that for That was not a tag. Mm -mm. No. You'll see sometimes these very liberal applications of the rules, and a lot of times that's what makes watching Lucha Libre matches very confusing to fans that have brought up really on the American system of rules. You wonder, where is the tag? But when you see that taken to its liberal extreme, one person steps out and another person steps in, um, you know, you really see wild aberrations, and these kind of matches are where you're going to see them. Look at this. Change of direction. The big blue bruiser with a huge shoulder tackle just took Kodama off his feet. And he tags to the militant Matt Might. Soldier Ant is legal once again. Militant Matt Might. Put a little bit of the alliteration on that. Excelsior. Double back elbow finds the mark. Covers him up. Cradle of the far Bryce, leg. Yeah. Only good for two, says Bryce Remsburg. And uh, Soldier Ant still missing that antenna that he lost in battle. That's right, yeah. I think uh, that battle wound, every time I see him come out, every time I see him walk the aisle, I am reminded of what he went through. And, uh, there's a period of time really kind of left unaccounted for. We all kind of wonder what happened to Soldier Ant while he was missing in action before returning in season 14. And of course, that was a very different Soldier Ant that we saw at that time. We are all glad to see him back fighting alongside his ant brethren. And Kodama 
is not glad at this juncture that Soldier Ant is back in action because he's housing it. And he yes. comes Frightmare once again. No tag mate, just oh. comes in and distracts Soldier Ant. This time for Jigsaw. Well, three times it's no longer a coincidence. This is the battle plan of these so-called hexed men. Frightmare gets in there and goads them, and the minute they are distracted, somebody else steps right in. Soldier Ant fires back on Jigsaw, a Gen 1 original. It's tough for me to look at this man who was once my championship tag team partner. He is all but unrecognizable to me now. A lot of force behind that. All the way into the corner he goes. Jigsaw fires in with a European uppercut, and Soldier Ant just melts to the mat. Wow, what a shot. I love the Jerksaw channel. All right, now that's just blatantly illegal. An illegal hold here. Bryce Remsburg's on top of the action. And he's doing the very best he can, given this wild Atomico's match. At least at this moment, everybody kind of in their corner, kind of respecting the rules. If things start to get really chaotic, boy, Bryce is going to have his hands full. Look at Soldier Ant firing back. Hooking him up. The interlock front chancery. Here comes that suplex with authority into the middle of the mat. And Soldier Ant's clearing out the cobwebs. You're going to see Fire Ant. Yeah, in comes Fire Ant. I'm a big fan of Fire Ant. I don't know why, because I hate Fire Ants. But I like Fire Ant, the Chikara wrestler. Setting him up. Fire Ant ready to fly. Well, he went right over Soldier Ant there. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Well, he's just setting Soldier Ant up. A famous colony combination dead ahead here. The powerbomb neckbreaker. Ants go marching. Could this be all? I think so. Leg is hooked. Two and no. Once again, in comes Frightmare, just tearing everything apart. Yeah, he is the catalyst in this match. Every time he enters the ring, the complexion changes, and he leaves unscathed. It's like a blasting cap in a mine. It's the only thing you find after everything's been blown up. You find a fright. Cobalt putting on the brakes. Worker Ant now being stifled by this front face lock. No. Frightmare changes gears, puts him in the turnbuckle. He's going to send him all the way across the ring. Wow, that's a big dude to be whipping. He evaded the strike there. Did work. Roll out of the corner. Great agility for a big man. Yeah. yeah. Frightmare says, I can do that as well. And, uh, well, rolls right to the outside. Worker Ant stalking Frightmare. Uh, and that's not where you want to be. One leg in, Behind one you. leg out. And there's the drop kick by Cobalt. And, and Worker Ant landed on the apron. Before. Wow, wait a minute. Pharaoh yeah, Ant. Open-handed blows to the chest of Pharaoh and Cobalt's revving him up. Oh, he just got stopped. Yeah, I don't, think, floor on. I don't think striking the heavily muscled chest of Pharaoh Ant is going to do much good. Oh, slingshot into a falcon arrow. Lateral press cover, but no hook in the leg, and thus no three count. Great blending of moves there, Hayabusa by way of Tully Blanchard. Faro Ant wow. is ready to strike, and he threw that kick to get rid of Kodama, but that momentary distraction is what allowed Cobalt to duck under the 540 kick. Oh, he planted him. Legs are hooked, two and no. Faro Ant finding a way to kick out, very impressive. Cobalt arguing with the referee, and I can tell you, all the times I've seen somebody question the count of a referee? No, never it's once. It's ever worked once. Oh, it's, it has worked Right here at Chikar, I'm afraid so. I believe the match was Lester Crabtree versus U.S. Ape in Reading, Pennsylvania. Did you say U.S. Ape? I did. Patriotic Priming. You got to get on that Chikaratopia.com. The first week is free, Joey Styles. An exchange of blows in the center of the ring. It's Soldier Ant and Kodama. Who will get the better of this exchange? It's Soldier Ant. Still writing down U.S. Ape. We'll search that, that on Jakartopia. Yeah, but I can search US Ape on Jakartopia.com. Hook on a far leg. Kodama is still in this one. We haven't seen a whole lot of him. It's really interesting to see Kodama without Obarian, his regular tag team partner. Yeah, I, I, I was uh, quite stunned to see only one half of the demonic tag team. Wow, very nicely done out of the corner. Mm -hmm. Just floated backwards into a terrific ace crusher, covered him up. Oh. That could have been all a look of shock on the face of Kodama there. If I had hit that ace crusher, this match would be over. I don't disagree. Where's my skateboard? 
Kodama, oh man, head of steam, but he charged right into, there's that discus forearm from Soldier Ant. He's cleared the ring of Kodama, but he doesn't realize Jigsaw is perched atop the top strand. And would that be the final piece of the puzzle for the ants? Oh man. See what I did there? I didn't. I, I couldn't make heads or tails of what it is that Jigsaw just did there. I think he came up short and tried to compensate for it like uh, a lot. No, 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 never mind. Jigsaw to the middle strand. He's been stopped by Soldier Ant. And you can see him teetering back and forth. This has been a kind of a theme throughout the day here at the Wrestle Factory. People losing their balance yeah. on the top rope. If Soldier Ant loses his balance, this one is over. Great display of balance. Super Frankensteiner, perfect execution. Soldier Ant is just so good, so crisp in the ring. It must be that military training. Probably right. Jigsaw too high with the lariat. Soldier Ant flying out like a rocket onto Kodama and somebody else I couldn't even see. That's how quick it happened. And now it's Fire Ant from the heavens. High cross body. Bounces right up this Fire Ant at great elevation. He's head revving of steam. it up. A favorite. Oh, oh he's no, swung with the Yahtzee kick. Look at him create the space. Jigsaw is such a tactician in this ring. Jumping in Zugiri, the back brain kick. And of course, the back brain kick is followed by the brain buster. No, Fire Ant turns it around. Well, it was followed by a brain buster, but I don't think that's <laughs> what Jigsaw had in mind. And hats off to Jigsaw. Right to our for, Joey Styles. Yeah, for having his puzzle pieces in place well enough to kick out. Fire Ant now starting to feel it. The Chikarmi is always quick to rally behind this energetic insectoid. Can he put Jigsaw away? He's got to be thinking about Beach Break, his signature hold, a devastating head and neck move. Ooh. No. Knee pat, super kick combination. Jigsaw's rocked him. I think he's going for a brain buster, Mike. Right, you are. No, second time this one's backfired. The body control of Fire Ant allowed him to turn it into a stunner. He's going up and around. Satellite DDT. You think maybe if Jigsaw didn't yell brain buster before he attempted a brain buster, he might actually land a brain buster? Over the top rope. Incoming! Coming! Yeah! A lot of bodies out there on the floor. A lot of chairs scattered, too. Well, there's not much room to go. We're packed to capacity once again here at the Wrestle Factory. Our farewell Philly event for 2016. Everybody's here for like phantoms forever. Including Frightmare, uh -oh. who once again has snuck up well, behind Soldier. What? You cannot. Oh, no, oh. he's pulled it off, Joey. And look at, look at Soldier Ant. Frightmare just pulled off Soldier Ant's other antenna. He's, he's curling up in a fetal position. Oh, and the 540 kick of Amasis. The other members of the colony are covering Soldier Ant, who is down. Soldier Ant is down, but this allows finally Pharaoh Ant, Amasis, to get his hands on Freightmare, who ripped his mask in Haver. Look at this! And now. Oh boy. Amasis oh, yeah. now doing the same to, to Freightmare. Almost had that mask torn in half. And if this comes completely off, the match will end in a disqualification. He's trying to send a message to Freightmare, but he's risking disqualification. Oh, uh, Bryce Remsburg has signaled for the bell. What, what is the decision? Yeah, but there are no points at stake in this matchup, so why not go for it? Turnabout wow. is fair play. He started ripping the mask right off of Frightmare's face. Uh, I am very anxious to hear what the official call is for this match. Well, Bryce Remsburg may be doing the right thing here, ending the match. Double disqualification will be the official result entered into the Chikara record books. Uh, th this one has really gotten chaotic, and I can only hope that Soldier Ant is all right. Obviously, a lot of concern and a lot of focus right now on the militant Matt Might. He does not appear to be moving. No, you mentioned that Sol Durant went away once before and uh, was different when he came back. And uh, got to wonder, we'll see Sol Durant soon after this. Very traumatic injury suffered once again, this time in front of our very eyes. I don't believe that they're going to be calling for some assistance here. You know, all veterans of the ring, you carry a certain number of battle scars with you every time you go to the squared circle. 
And I, I feel this way about my own career. Eventually, you get to a point uh, where the number of scars is simply one too many. And I shudder to think, given what we have just seen here from Frightmare, what this might mean for the future of one of the most beloved members of the Chikara roster, Soldier Ant. Cheering on Soldier and he, he really is, is just kind of grasping at the mask, but he doesn't seem to be able to get up on his own. Sometimes the, uh, the bright colors and the somewhat friendly appearance of Chikara belie the fact that there are very heated rivalries here. There is a lot of hatred between some of these competitors, and that was an, a naked exhibition of exactly that when Frightmare yanked the remaining antenna off of Soldier Ant, who is, at this point, barely mobile. A lot of years teaming together, Fire Ant, Soldier Ant with various partners, Green Ant, who eventually, of course, evolved into Silver Ant, the original Worker Ant, and this, the man who wears the mantle of Worker Ant now. Um, we've seen them in so many different permutations, and we've just always kind of imagined these guys, they're so resilient. Uh, in our minds, many of them seemingly immortal, and right now you see just how vulnerable they can be. <laughs> 